Hey there YouTube, Z here with The Two Rocket Guys, and today I'm going to be bringing you a demonstration of MechJeb and its application when landing on uh, a celestial body. Uh, in this example, we'll be landing on MUN. So here you are at Corporal Space Center preparing for liftoff. We got MechJeb running over there on the right. Uh, we're going to throw on a few there. I prefer Vessel Information and Ascent Autopilot. Uh, on takeoff, vessel information helps show the thrust and thrust to weight ratio we got going on. Make sure we can actually get off the ground, and then ascent autopilot is going to control. Uh, he didn't figure it out. Ascent. So we'll go ahead and throw that on here. As you can see, uh, move it out of the way. We've got a few things. Orbital altitude. We're going to move that down a little bit. Auto stage. We're going to turn it off. I'm not a big fan of that. Uh, and then uh, path. I'm a big fan of the roll program from the space shuttle. We're going to go ahead and trim that down so we can see some action early on. Point, one, uh, point two. Yeah. We'll engage it, minimize it to get out of the way. We'll throw off all the instrument panel here and uh, we'll prepare for takeoff. In five, four, three, two, one, up, up, and up, up. So we're cruising. Uh, on ascent, I'm going to go ahead and say uh, we're using the Nova Punch. 1.3.1 uh, parts pack. That's where you're seeing the fairings come from and all that stuff. As well as the long burn boosters. We're going to make our way up to orbit here. SRV burnout in five, four, three, two, one. Burnout separation. Okay, now that we've uh, we, we've previously covered moon or moon transfer in the other tutorial videos, we're going to go ahead and fast forward here uh, until it's time to interact with Meg MechJub again. Okay, now we've uh, we've achieved our circular orbit. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and pull into MechJeb now, um, and that's that's gonna that's gonna go ahead and let us bring up our orbital uh, operations module here. Now we're looking for transfer. Uh, there's a bunch of different options here, and we'll cover those in uh, later videos. But transfer is gonna make it the easiest uh, for us to get to Mun. So we're gonna go ahead and click transfer. You'll see the abort becomes red. Uh, which means that the tool is uh, in fact active. Uh, now what's going to happen here is we're going to cruise around uh, through control of MechJeb until it's time to burn uh, towards transfer orbit to MUN. Okay, MechJub is taking us on uh, on the way to Mun. We're in our transfer orbit. We're increasing our apoapsis. Um, so you can see there, uh, miscalculated staging just a little bit, but we'll be okay with uh, fuel in the end. Uh, enough at least to get down to the surface. Definitely not enough to get back. Um, but we're just trying to land for now. So, as you can see, we're done with the 
uh, or the, the orbital operations uh, kind of module here. We've got the circularized orbit up, um, but we want to, you can see it says 59 kilometers now, that's for carbon. We want to get closer to MUN um, to actually use that. Um, and we'll, we'll have it, uh, well, we might have an issue here, we might have to use it, but uh, we'll bring up land for now. We're going to go ahead and fast forward, and uh, we'll come back when that's done. Okay, now you see we have our uh, encounter with Mun. I get a nice view of Kerbin going on there. There's the Mun. Uh, we're pretty much on a direct path for it, straight down nearly. Uh, it looks like we're on the dark side right now. It's not something. Um, you know, it looks like land at target's not going to work for us. Uh, and I wonder if I click. Uh, well, land is going to just bring us straight down. Obviously, on, it's on the dark side. We don't really want that. I think if I use land at target, since it's 1.7, it's going to go to 0, 0. It's not, yeah, that's not what we want. It's going to try to move it around. It's going to waste some fuel. Okay, we're not going to do that. We'll just hit land. Um, and, yeah. Well, previously, we'd be able to select a target on the map, click, and uh, it would automatically land there. That comes into... It's, it's, it's a pretty handy tool when we're using it for, say, MUN-based construction. But for now, we're just going to have to go straight down. Well, you know, I don't want to land on the dark side here. I want you guys to be able to see it. So we're going to go ahead and kill landing on a pot for now, bringing up the orbital operations with the circular orbit like I talked about before. We'll warp it in a little bit. Um, we'll try to bring our... We'll try to see that apoapsis. Uh, you can see the circularized, circularized coming down a little bit. Obviously, uh, you get to a point where that's where you want your orbit to be at. Your your apoapsis and periapsis, the two uh, points of your orbit. We're at 350 now. I'm going to bring that down, warp a little bit. This will work for now. We're just going to try to wrap ourselves around a kind of a slingshot method and burn some more of that precious fuel. That would be too bad. Plenty to land, uh, but we won't be coming back. But that's okay for today's video. Okay, we can see the uh, the orbit coming down. You can see our uh, uh, what is that? Apoapsis coming down, periapsis. Now I can finally see it. That's just enough to get around the mun. Uh, we're gonna slingshot around, and we're gonna try to get back on that lighter side of the moon. That way, y'all can see the landing. We're we'll going fast forward here. Um, Make sure we don't collide. That would be bad. Yep, we'll sink shut around. Yep, looking good. I think we'll be okay. Speed it up a little bit more. Okay, we're coming around here. Now, when you finally get to uh, where you got a decent spot to land at, uh, you're just going to hit land. Basically, uh, MacJob is going to take over frame here. It's going to do whatever it has to do to basically slow you down and get to a low, lower orbit, uh, if you will, um, to, to get you down to the surface, or to, to get you on the right trajectory. Now, if you're landing at a target, um, you're going to see a whole lot more movement, and it's going to pretty much get you there. Now, it's not guaranteed it's going to get you directly where you're trying to go, but it's going to get you pretty damn close. I'm going to bring down an orbit here a little bit. MacJab is going to do all the work. We're going to abort this just because we want to get low enough to where MacJab is going to know to, to land us. So we'll kill that. Bring up landing again. We'll engage land. MacJab is going to slow us down. It's pretty much going to bring us on a straight down velocity. Or, or trajectory, if you will. It's going to lower our velocity. And, uh, yeah. We'll come back when we're uh, closer to land.
Now, uh, MechJeb's bringing us down here. As you can see, the legs have already deployed automatically, and the radial liquid boosters are uh, firing per MechJeb's commands. You can see the throttle up there, kind of slow our descent, and uh, now we're making our way down to the surface. Now, we've designated five or uh, 0.5 meters per second for our landing speed. MechJeb is going to do its best to uh, basically make that happen. As you can see, we get a little wobble there on touchdown. Uh, if we slowed our descent down, uh, which goes as low as uh, 0.1 meters per second, uh, that would pretty much be alleviated. Um, but here we are. We are on the surface. We're going to go ahead and uh, get Jebediah out, our favorite. Uh, well, we'll take yeah. Let's take a look. There, there's the uh, surface there. Let me turn all this stuff off. We don't need it. Like I said, we're not getting back because we're almost out of gas. So uh, we're gonna get Jebediah out here. Um, now, as we descend here onto the surface, I want to thank everybody for watching. Um, I hope that uh, this video maybe helped you. I know when I first started using MechJeb, it was, uh, oh, well, we'll just jump off the ladder. One big leap instead of one big step for uh, Carbal Kind. Um, yeah, but when I first started using MechJeb, it was, it was a little intimidating, um, but trial and error kind of helped me figure out how to use everything. And uh, I... I strongly feel that uh, through trial and error by yourself that uh, you'll learn how to use it in no time. So if you have any questions, please post it in the comments. Uh, we'll bring more to you regarding uh, any other plugins. Um, oh. <laughs> any other plugins and or mods while well, Jebediah takes his uh, leisurely stroll here on the MUN. Um, again, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.